Where's audio coming from? Here we are. Yeah. Yes. So, welcome to Unwind Time, episode 12. And we have a wonderful, wonderful guest with us today, Jason, who is our automation specialist. And he's a very talented young man oh, that um, you. <laughs> makes everything simple and succinct and better. Don't you guys yeah. call me the grandfather? Very <laughs> Pretty much. Young man. <laughs> but, um, oh, you've got to turn that off. Everything. Yep, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so we're good, we're good. would you like to introduce the wine first? Sure. Before we, are, we, go in we are drinking. We are guys. I've got a fellow wine drinker, so I'm happy. Um, <laughs> we're drinking, it's called the Brooklyn Valley, it's from Margaret River, it's called Verse One Cab Merlot, so. It smells good. Yeah. I'm just going to smell that. Do you try. want to give it a, yeah, you Absolutely. Do the honours. Oh. Yeah, I like my that. cuppa. One second, because. Oh, that is very nice. I love Cab Merlots. Do you? It's a fantastic choice. Yeah, yeah I knew this, mm. and then mm. that's why that I chose it. That is so good. <sighs> I'm, I'm not allowed to down it, am I? You can. <laughs> you can do whatever you want here. We've got 15 mm. minutes of yeah. your, you know. That is so yeah, good. You can do what you so want. we've got to get through that bottle in 15 minutes. Yeah, pretty much. So Sorry, guys, I'm just what adjusting we're gonna the camera. What we're going to talk about, really, and the reason why Jason is here is because we're going to talk about bots. And if you haven't heard of what bots is or what a bot is, <laughs> Jason's going to be the man that's going to tell us what they are and why it's so important <laughs> in your business. So, Jason, would you please tell us what a bot is for anyone that doesn't know? Well, obviously, the name bot <laughs> stems from <laughs> stems from robots, and of course, that sounds fairly impersonal. Mm -hmm. um, and what a bot is, in essence, is a way to automate something. Mm. Um, now, as you as you mentioned in the intro, um, my background is really automation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, of course. With automation, I've been focused a lot on marketing automation, and that entails typically what you'd imagine uh, a sales funnel to be. So, mm. you know, we deal with autoresponders and we deal with lead magnets. That's where somebody comes onto your sales funnel and gives you their details in return for something of value to them. It might be an ebook or something yeah. like that. Um, and of course, what that relies on is an initiation point, some, some trigger, some, some way to get them to the funnel. It relies on them putting their details in and it relies on you sending them something. Yeah. So that process is fairly automated in today's marketing, um, digital marketing world in that we've got CRM systems, etc. Um, but what a bot is, is now taking that concept and moving it onto a messenger platform. We know through the advent of um, instant messaging um, and social media that engagement with something like Facebook Messenger is orders of magnitude more than with engagement um, within emails. Mm -hmm. um, so what Facebook has done is they've taken this concept and they've allowed us as developers and as marketers to leverage the uh, highly engaging messenger platform mm -hmm. and have allowed us a way to build intelligence into it in much the same way as we have with autoresponders and emails. So what it means though is that we can engage with somebody through messenger and we can have a set of predefined rules a bot that then handles most aspects, 60-70% of what that client would need to know from you as a business or when engaging with your company. Mm -hmm. So we can build this, and it's simply a, a flow diagram of, yes, they come in here, what could they possibly want? They may want information, they may want to order something, mm -hmm. um, they may just need a support, you know, you know mm -hmm. um, question answered. So we'll take those few different aspects of your business and we'll say, hi. You know, how can we help you today? Would you like to buy something? Do you have a question, etc.? Would you like to get hold of one of our mm. lead magnets? They can then select that, and the bot will automatically understand what they've selected and just deliver it to them. Awesome. So we are dropping an automated process, digital marketing, onto a highly engaging brand new platform, and we call it a bot. Mm. And and the reason for it is predominantly to cut time and to interact with more people at a larger scale, or yeah, the, and, and of course it can get quite complicated. There's, There's lots. Yeah, <laughs> There's and, and much the same way of saying what is what is the purpose behind a sales funnel? You know, we get different aspects. We get different bots. We get engagement bots, those that are just 
looking to engage with your customers. Mm -hmm. And I've got a fantastic one for you. Um, uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later. We'll talk about my wine decision bot, given that it's wine time. Um, and yeah. that's just really engaging with people, like yeah. asking them questions, hey, and maybe giving them something. Like I've got an engagement bot that just talks about wine and asks you a few questions. Where are you? Are you at home? Have you got people over? What are you wanting to do? And ultimately says, I recommend this wine for you based mm -hmm. on, you know, what, what you've answered in the, in the flow diagram. Um, but we've also got um, lead generation bots, which is something we focus a lot on mm. at Your Social Voice and the new division, Your Social Bots. Your Social Bots, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a link to that as well. In Your Social Bots is fantastic. <laughs> and then we focused a lot there, of course, lead generation. And that's where we're taking somebody either on our website or within our messaging platform or on our social media page or at an event. And we're saying, drop onto our bot and we will give you in return for you just enter. Remember, a bot, we don't need to get an email address as a bot anymore. All they have to do is interact with the bot mm -hmm. and we've got them as an as a audience within the bot. In the same way as we have them as a uh, contact in a database when they're filling out an email form, yeah, right. they just need to interact with the bot. Now we've got them, uh, of course it's ethical, they can unsubscribe at any stage, but we now have a way to interact wow. with them. So we can give them something as a lead magnet which is obviously an acquisition bot, and then we can uh, engage with our customers, let's say people who are already spending some, we can give them a flash sale offer through a bot, which is a monetization mm. bot. So there's a number of different reasons for it, but we do know when people are sitting there and their phone goes bing and it says message from your social bots or your social voice or your company, whatever it happens to be, it's a very uh, highly engaged, something, something in the order of 86% open rate compared yeah. to 6 or 7% open wow. rate for my emails. Live, right? It's crazy. And yeah. they're choosing wow. to interact with you. It's not you sending them an email waiting for them to open it. It's That's they're right. initiating the first contact. So. That's right. And yeah. it's, it's on a platform that everybody's using now. Everybody's using Facebook it. is dropping, out, uh, dropping 60, billion, 60 billion messengers a day. Mm. We're at its peak. Wow. Text messaging across all services across the world was 20 billion a day wow. at its peak. So that's where we're sitting and it's only growing bigger. Yeah, yeah, right. So what type of businesses would you recommend? I mean, just from what you're saying right there, anybody can use it. But yeah. what, what type of businesses would you recommend jump on a bot now that could benefit them immediately, if that makes sense? I don't know. Yeah, look, yeah, any, no, yeah it right. does. Yeah. Yeah. Look, anybody who's active on social media, mm -hmm. you know, any business that's got an active presence on social of course, if you don't have an active presence on social media, that, that's an yeah, issue to address in itself. Hit us up, your social <laughs> <laughs> But if you've got any, any active uh, presence on social media, you mm -hmm. should really be looking to incorporate uh, something. And, and it kind of sounds weird. My opening statement was, you know, robots, and it's, it seems impersonal. Yeah. You need to personalize a, a bot experience. Yeah. And you also shouldn't try and fool anybody. You're mm -hmm. not trying to make somebody believe that they're dealing with a physical person. And as a matter of fact, we really promote saying, I'm... Amy, the older bot, and I'm, you know, you know, so let them know that, they, that they're speaking with yeah. a bot and say, listen, I'm here to answer 70% of your questions. Uh, here are all the main things. I'll give you as much information as possible. However, at any stage, type in the word person because we can put keywords in there. We can say, type in the word person and we'll immediately send a message to our team who will contact you back or if there's anything I can't answer. Mm -hmm. You know, and we design these things to be, um, to be um, engaging and in a sort of humanistic way discussion way but we don't try and fool anybody behind them so yeah any business that's active on social media but of course you know this is now at the forefront it's right it's just new it's been released it's only we're starting to see the uptake now mm -hmm. and if you don't get on it as a business now your competitors will yeah and it's it's really we're at that we're at that early adopter stage you know yeah. where it's like we're in in the past nobody's really known about it mm -hmm. now it's early adopters people who started using e-commerce on websites in the beginning really had a massive advantage once everybody starts using it and mm -hmm. then once you know now where email marketing is now mm -hmm. is and if people are trying to get into it now they they really got no advantage yeah. so you want to have that early advantage First market type yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. early adopters advantage so mm -hmm. yeah every business should be doing it but certainly those that have lead magnets mm -hmm that they can give up with the bot mm -hmm. and and I'm really um, passionate about the support side of things. Yep. If you've got yeah. a business that has a product that has got any support component, you can halve or third your support staff requirements if you have a decently, wow. uh, if you have a well structured and thought out bot in yep. place. It's a very and effective use of time. Yeah, and also each, obviously from what you've told us, each bot can be customised. 
So you can, like you said, have certain rules. So it's not just one standard <coughs> answer. You can have certain trigger rules Absolutely. for your industry and for your business. Yeah. So it gets really personal in that way. You well, know, you can have multiple though... bots overlaid on one another looking for different things. We can have a menu structure in bots. And bear in mind, we're not just talking about Facebook here. Yeah. You know, we can drop a bot onto a chat platform directly on a website. Mm. So on the bottom right, speak with us now. As soon as they touch that, yeah. in a lot of cases, you know, it would go through to a live person where a person in the office would have been somebody's on the website wanting to speak to you. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we can put it, uh, handle that through the the development of a well thought out bot mm -hmm. and only when needed somebody needs to speak yeah, yeah you just need to have a bot that handles 40 percent of your support requirements if they're common mm -hmm. and if you know if you've got a fairly standard support uh, structure mm -hmm. and that saves you 40 percent of an <coughs> admin staff's time which can now be refocused to business development it's, yeah it's doing something yeah, wow yeah absolutely so yeah for, so yeah. what as you were saying that when you said the menu option uh, even cafes can have it's set up to have like a booking system where people just message a bot and say, you know, I want availability between this time and this time, and it can sort of slot them into a calendar and book Not them only in. that, yeah, yeah, very good point. Yeah. Um, up until now, we've had, um, you know, a fairly limited uh, capability within this automated bot environment. Mm -hmm. um, however, very recently, they've just released the capability for us to drop full e-commerce capability into a bot. So mm -hmm. you could say to somebody, hey, you know, really interested in engaging with you what what is it that you require from us mm -hmm. and if um <laughs> we've got people around oh, <laughs> <they're playing laughs> <with us. laughs> and if um if they're requiring one of your services we have the ability to drop them straight onto a payment portal they can pay for it right then and there mm -hmm. have delivery addresses put in place have a fulfillment process on the back of that so straight within a bot while people are engaging with you why take them off that environment and yeah. put them onto another sales environment or have them phone when they're ready to buy? Yeah. So we can do that wow. straight away. And there's several other things, of course, interaction and integration with other systems. Mm -hmm. We can push their information straight into a CRM system mm -hmm. from a bot. We can also drop them onto um, dynamic uh, calendars mm -hmm. to, to book time with you, all that sort of stuff. The real clever business functions can all be handled through a bot yeah. now. So you can wow. sell products like... I'm thinking clothing stores like my mind just <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so yeah clothing stores you can drop you know products that suit that person maybe they've got like um, for example bikinis if someone's looking for a bikini yep. special type of bikini mm. they can drop in all those little trigger points in and then it comes up with the six what are you top looking ones. for yeah. yeah select which one so yeah, well exactly and and it your mind kind of boggles and, yeah. and it is just that the, we're just taking it's at the forefront of this technology now but bear in mind much like a CRM system mm. we can tag your contacts so let's say in your case of a bikini you were to say what size are you mm -hmm. and then they say I don't know, I'm a size 12 or size 10 whatever it is mm -hmm. you can tag them as a size 10 therefore the next time they engage in your bot you needn't ask them what size they are what you can just oh, literally wow. say wow it's so so it's an it's an ever-evolving understanding entity that mm -hmm. next time they engage with it you just show them and size 10. Show them size 10. Yeah. yeah. You, 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 so we know you're a size 10. Or like all same colour or something, yeah. <coughs> yeah so exactly. we've got That's Starwin awesome. Tonkin has said, I hope I've said that name right. It's a lovely name. Um, bots are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a while yeah. ago. Seems like but... we're preaching to the converted. Yeah. 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 I'm glad you like them, Starwin. <laughs> yeah, and, and Starwin's right, you know. Um, bots are awesome, but, you know, the implementation of a bot doesn't guarantee... And as a matter of fact, we're still at a stage where you, you can't implement a bot and expect it to be a sales funnel in isolation. Mm -hmm. We still say at the moment it's early days, um, bots are not at the point where everybody's either trusting of them or engaging with them. Mm -hmm. We're getting massive engagement rates on Facebook Messenger, and mm -hmm. when we broadcast using a bot, we are getting good engagement rates. However, it's still we, we still highly promote having bots as a... Um, as a supplement uh, and an addition to a funnel in support okay, of right. an yep. existing sales funnel. Yep. So we can direct people to sales pages, mm -hmm. we can discuss and get very specific with the client's need through a bot, mm -hmm. very specific, ask a few key questions and then based on where they are in that flow diagram, 
drop them onto a highly specific sales page. So you have like different click funnels set up for exactly. each person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So four or five different landing pages set up, mm -hmm. and then when they land on the landing page, it's like, wow, this is Everything exactly me. It's exactly yeah. me. Yeah. Awesome. So whilst we can make sales on the bottom, I've seen I've seen massive success with it. A lot of businesses won't have that very specific one product, you know, uh, scenario. Yeah. And we can drop a shopping cart on there, but it starts to get a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. But that whole idea of segmenting and understanding exactly a, cli a client's exact needs, mm -hmm. and then dropping them onto a, a, a customized sales page, just um, yeah, just as an example, this uh, we'll put the link up, but this decision tree bot that I've put together, just to show, just to highlight what, you know, the complexity, yeah. Yeah. Um, has two um, bots on it. One is to choose a wine, mm -hmm. and it's very complex. I've built this really big tree out, and you don't see it as part of the bot, but there's a lot of questions in there. And if you mm -hmm. start going through that, and I recommend anybody who's on this, just have a play with it. There's, there's no sell. It's just literally to show you what, what it can do. Mm -hmm. However, bear in mind, if somebody goes on there and makes and runs through that tree says, I'm with a group of people and we're at a party and we're doing this and we're doing that and ultimately I recommend or the bot recommends a wine. Mm -hmm. It's a contextual wine and it's true. The, you know, it's, as far as we have, we've got wine experts out and they all agree that the flow is right and based on a mindset at a time, the wines are pretty good and it's a wine type, like it'll be a Cab Merlot for instance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But think about that from a um, a wine retailer's perspective. Mm. Why just say a Cab Merlot when I could point to a very specific Cab Merlot that is sold by the shop yeah. that not only has a Cab Merlot but actually gives a little store location. It's right over there. So now, yeah. and imagine we put this, this little Facebook messenger or any messenger on the front door as you're walking in. Need help with selecting a wine. Just just hold your phone up to this, it opens the messenger yeah. bot, have a bit of fun with it and be taken to the exact spot to buy, buy the wine that's contextual to your needs right now. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Wow. That's awesome. And, and there are so many areas that we can go into, like I, I'm just thinking of all the questions that yeah. I could possibly ask. So many. But I was thinking <laughs> also if, if anyone's watching on here and there's anything that they don't understand or they want more clarity around what we're going to do, like Jason said, is going to put in the comment section. We're going to add our, some information on how to use bots and mm. so they can go in on that link and play around with it, yep. right? Yep. So, um, but also it may be that you have some more specific questions that you want to ask Jason and we could bring him in again another time and get like delve a deep, little bit deeper mm -hmm. into yeah. it as well. We can do a follow up if you know if that's something that you just guys want to want to see we can do a follow up mm. yeah. episode with Jason and you can go a bit more into it. Yeah. If not if you guys are interested just contact Jason, me, Hayley, your social voice and yeah we can point in the right direction yeah. and help you out. Is there anything that you think you know it's really important for a business owner to know about bots um, that we haven't already spoke about? Well a business is about gaining a following, business is about having people to sell your product to yeah. right so at the moment we've got two big containers that those fall into one is uh, database, you know, your, your CRM, your customer relationship management system, mm -hmm. and we all know the value's in the list. Mm -hmm. We need to build a CRM system that we can then segment our customers effectively with, and bots are just another container. So the next biggest container we've got is a messenger list, and, and I would really recommend pushing from one to the other, so having a little API, which is obviously programming tie-in, mm -hmm. every time anyone engages with a bot, push it through to the CRM, but between those two platforms, if we're not building that and having a strategy to build that continuously, then we're really just relying on people, you know, um, interacting with us, and, with us, and we're not leveraging technology mm. to build our business. And given where business is going now and how tough it is out there, you know, you can't be relying on internal staff to to engage with yeah. your customers. You need to be leveraging. Technology. You need to be getting your staff members focused on business development roles and you need to leverage what we have available to us to handle routine tasks that can be systemized. Yeah, so true, yeah. And yeah, bots, bots are just one aspect of that. Not yeah. in isolation, it needs to be formed part of a marketing strategy, mm -hmm. but they're really exciting at the moment. Yeah, because technology is constantly changing and if you're not ahead of the curve and you fall behind, you are going to get left behind. It's as simple as that. Like yeah. People without a social media presence now will start to see that you know, slowly their business will drop off because people are using Facebook more and more. Mm. It's becoming like the next Google. People jump on Facebook now to see, look up a business. I don't know how much business I've gotten through just Facebook. Do you, you know, know what? It's so true. I um, my my dad works 
he's he lives on a Greek island called okay. Corfu, and as you know, <laughs> um, and he um, has a business and it's like boats, uh, yacht maintenance, like maintenance and repair, mm-hmm. and he has some villas, and every year it's worked. You know, people have just come and it's word of mouth, and mm-hmm. and his business has been continuously growing yeah but i can definitely see that if he's not very careful in the future he he's not active on social media he's got a facebook page and etc but there's there's no instagram there's there's no bots or optimization the 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 facebook page probably isn't used as much as it as it could be Mm -hmm. so and the reason is surviving because of lack of local competition when Mm -hmm. things start getting getting more crowded as we are over here in, in Australia and as the states is, yeah. um, then he hasn't got that luxury of sitting no. back and being the only person there that does this and therefore exactly. attracting yeah. most yeah. of the market. Exactly. You know, I, 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 I give a lot of talks and I, I've got this one catchphrase which sounds really conceited when I say it, but if you think about it, it's really interesting mindset. So yeah. I stand in front of people and I say, listen, you know, I mean, obviously I'm in the, I'm in the business of, of you know, email marketing and marketing, digital marketing, etc. and bots. But I say, you don't have to do this. Right? There's, not, there's no one holding a gun. There's nothing forcing you to go down this route. However, if you don't, if you could just forward me the contact details of your competitor and I'll do it for them. Mm. Yes. You know, so yes. there's no worries. But your competitor is going to do this. So if you're yeah. not going to go for it, that, that's cool. I'll do it for your competitor because we're going to be getting into the market anyway. anyway and that's yeah. not meant to sound like, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm holding a you know, gun to your head and you have to go with us. But you, it's by a no fact, right? means, Just the, the whole point is just to make you realize that you know, it's happening. Mm. And if your competitor takes advantage of technology like this, and, and I've worked with dozens and dozens of businesses and we've built them out to really big companies, and the minute you can use technology to take over administrative tasks that then allow your admin staff to focus on business development and more so allow you to then manage those admin tasks by statistics. You can mm-hmm. now say, oh, we've got a bottleneck there, address the system, mm-hmm. rather than, oh, so we had a bottleneck there because one staff member had a rough time at home and blah, blah, blah. You, you know, you don't know yeah. if, when there's people dealing with it. The minute it's systemized and it's in a flow diagram and we ascertain there's a problem in a certain area, we address the system, fix it, measure, test, leave it for a while, and all the people that were handling that are now building your business mm. in other aspects, it becomes an a infinitely scalable model. Yeah. So, and if your competitor were to do that and you're still stuck in a, in a, in a fairly... Um, turbulent or, or difficult mindset mm. um, it's just that's where people like your dad would start struggling if more and more people became efficient around him doing what he does to a better yeah. and easier yes. way and yeah. then it ends up being too late as well because yeah. all your competitors are built up and then now you're trying to compete with yeah. a business that has it together and has all their structures and systems in place so now you've got to spend extra money to try and get to that point mm. as well as compete yeah. as well as still do what you do for business I mean just one, one tiny thing asking for feedback yeah. Perfect thing for a bot to do. Yeah. Imagine we could, the minute somebody purchases from us, anything. Imagine we then, through that, through Facebook Messenger, two days later, send them a little message saying, hey, how did you rate our service? Give mm. us a score out of 10. Yeah. Mm. Imagine so just that alone. Yeah. Now, if they're 9 or 10 out of 10, mm. we then know that we can then ask them whether they'd like to refer us to their friends. Mm. If it's below 8 out of 10, 7 mm. or below, we then know there was a problem. We address that as an internal quality control yeah. issue. See, Just that, that we need twenty yeah. percent of people actually responding to that, and we know we've got an eighty percent response rate on Messenger. Mm. 20% of people responding to that, and imagine what just that one tiny little thing would do in any business, asking for referral partners from those that loved what we did, mm-hmm. and addressing problems for, from those that didn't love what we did, mm-hmm. um, that yeah. just immediately, one tiny step, all do that. One yeah. tiny step, and that'll, that'll immediately make a massive Proof. difference in your business. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Mm-hmm. Thank you Not for problem. all that information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is no, it's incredible. Yeah. And it, it was it's good to for people that don't know about it to kind of get an understanding yeah. of what it is mm-hmm. and why it's so important mm-hmm. and what what it does. Mm-hmm. Because I think it's gonna be a big part of the business because yep. it is needed. Yeah. So yeah. Well it's happening. Yeah, yeah it's, it's happening. happening. It's it's rolling out. And um, yeah. yeah, artificial intelligence, right? It's the next big thing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, cool. All right, well, like we said, well, like I said before, if you guys want to know a little bit more, we can do a follow up episode to this where Jace can go a little bit more in depth. 
Um, yeah. Something like this though is quite extensive, so I would recommend just getting in touch with us if you want some more info, and we can send you the links and mm. send you all what you need to know about it. Um, if you're interested in having a bot, definitely hit one of us three up or your social voices page up. Um, give us a call and we can help you out there too. And we're just rolling out your social bots. Yeah. We're literally putting that your together this afternoon. Bots. I'm giving a big presentation next Friday on, yeah. on bots. Um, so nice. yeah, keep, keep an eye on the yeah. web page is already half app. Yeah. <laughs> your socialbots.com. Yeah. <laughs> your socialbots.com. Hit it up guys. Any questions, post it in the comments below. We'll be checking for the next hour or so. Perfect. Um, yeah. And I just realised I didn't. I don't think I introduced you, Regan. But no. obviously, Regan doesn't need introduced. That's no. why. <laughs> Neither does Haley. <laughs> We're furniture now, have. Yeah, exactly. Like the chairs. I just realised. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, introduced, <laughs> and then went straight to the wine. Yeah. <laughs> I like it though. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it was important to you. That's yeah. why. I did. Okay. Well, check out the comments and thanks for joining us Cheers, once guys. again. Cheers. 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 And Even have a. Fun. Can I do it with my tea? Yeah, of course. Have a wonderful afternoon. afternoon. Bye. Bye. Bye.